tell me how this works. So it's June 2nd. I am in a sweatshirt because it is 60 degrees outside. So yeah, here in the garden. I kill a cat here in a minute because, excuse me, probably eliminate a predator in my garden. That one. Because he likes to get my stuff. So, I'm out here today mostly because I wanted to look at something. Let's see. Nitrogen. I need to do something about these plants. So, I did a live. And in my life, I did Epsom salts, which is magnesium, on these plants. Now, it's, it's helped a little bit, but they're still really stunty. So now I'm going to try a fertilizer. Um, I need to do an iron supplement, I think, is what the next step is. It's just these ones. The tomatoes are doing pretty good. There's a couple that are lacking, but that's okay. See, here's the other niggle beans, and they look great. So I have no idea. So I went ahead and fertilized them with this stuff over here. It is Nature's Care by Miracle Grow. And yeah, it's not the greatest, but it is a higher, it has a good nitrogen base in it. So I'm thinking they might need some of it gonna try everything whatever works works before I do anything else though I'm gonna come over here untie this side of the trellis and move it down and plant the rest of my black beans I don't know if I've talked about my Cherokee Nation beans before but Cherokee Nation has a seed bank program and they provide a couple of seeds varieties every year to those who sign up for it. This year I got uh, button bush. I am having terrible luck trying to propagate it, but it's okay. I'll get it figured out eventually. But I got Trail of Tears beans last year. So I planted those. My geese ended up eating them, but I'm gonna try again. I've got a bunch of things I really wanna plant today. I don't know if I'm going to get to. But I want to plant this other stackable in like pretty things. Like I got some chamomile, which I know it gets big. But I have some other small things I'm going to put in it. And those three plants there that I bought. The one particular and the two uh, lavenders. Munstead lavenders. just noticed look at this you know these are these are those little marigold seeds I planted the other day like a couple weeks ago it's finally been long enough warm that they pop up on their own so this gets six inches tall but it spreads out about ten inches so if I put one of these say in like this cup here it's gonna cascade over and it's gonna look very pretty so I am going to do that. Oh, he always runs in the barn. Not 
So if that's the only actual plant I'm going to put in it, the rest of them are seeds. Because I'm going to plant this lavender in one of my wicking tubs because it's going to get fairly good size. And I feel like it would probably make this kind of heavy. Well, baby. You're outside. You're going to play with Odie and Dink. Okay, so the stuff that I have as far as seeds go, like I said, I have this dwarf coral coxcomb. I was going to plant it in beds, but I'm still uncertain as to a couple of things in my beds. So, and that lavender might go into a bed. I have some of this uh, holy basil, the, the suli basil, and it's going to, or I can't pronounce it. We'll just leave it at that. I'm gonna throw that in a couple of these contain in a couple of these spots. So I know it's very aromatic and I know it's it's very it broad reaching. I've been pulling it out of my one bed since it warmed up. Oh, that's the kids. But that's okay too because they're gonna last this one was the first one I bought and I bought it by itself and it has a few cracks in it and that's mostly from mishandling though I also have some solar flash black calendula these all came from that uh, free heirloom seeds I mean it that was really a good deal you spend ten dollars you get 15 varieties of your choice they have a list and it's so cool I would love to propagate a bunch of that trail of tears beans and give some to them for their program so we'll see these have some weird looking seeds they're like curly weird. I have a cat in my basket now, guys. So. The, uh, the beagle puppy, he likes to track the outside kitty. So, got this chamomile, which it's just common chamomile. And this whole top one, I'm going to do common chamomile in it. And... No I think it's going to be beautiful. So. Look, Odie waits till Dick turns his back. And then I've got a few open oh, oh, yeah. cups. Oh, and oh, we're going to throw some of these cups comb in there, which there is a ton of these seeds also. So I am not worried about these at all. And if they get a little too heavy, I can always pluck them. So. I'd love to be able to propagate some of these for flowers to save for later. Probably won't be able to though. But I got nice damp soil so I don't have to water it down. And hopefully the rain will hold off from being really hard long enough that these guys can take root and flourish. I only planted one actual plant in this. But I feel like I picked a good spot for it because it'll just cascade over and be a pretty little curtain right here. Now this is the last garden bed, or the last uh, wicking tub. I like calling them garden beds because to me they are garden beds. Um, I'm just going to put these two, one like right here and one like right here, and call it good. 
I really love these. I think they're going to be beautiful. And they do get, they get fairly tall, get about a foot tall. So they're a little root bound, but that'll be okay. We'll work them loose a little bit and plant them in this good soil where they get lots of water. I got baby okras popping up that I planted the other day. So once they get up and get going, I don't know, I'll let them get a couple inches, a couple few inches tall and I will plant the next row in front of them. But I do need to find a spot for these massive marigolds. They are beautiful and they're huge. They're not some like regular ones, but these ones are giant. I would love to save seeds out of them. Which I do plan on doing. But I'm gonna go ahead and get off here today. Finish what I'm doing so I can get these kids in the house and get them fed lunch. Thank you guys for watching and supporting us. Thank you for getting us to our 400 subscriber goal. Let's set a goal for like 750, you know. Might as well shoot for the moon while I'm at it. And uh, 750 subscribers doesn't seem like all that much to really worry about at the moment. So let's go for it. And we'll get, well, get our garden growing. Thank you guys for watching and supporting us. I so appreciate it. Thank you and God bless.